This slide outlines the typical arrangement of reinforcement bar in a pad footing. There will be two layers of reinforcement bar at the bottom of the pad footing, one over another. Depends on the directions of the reinforcement bar. The longitudinal reinforcement bar here has a higher degree of depth in comparison to the transverse reinforcement bar here. The difference between the depth of the longitudinal and the transverse reinforcement is defined by the summations of half of the bar size longitudinal and the half of the bar size transverse. The reinforcement bar here are normally used to withstand the bending force caused by the bearing pressure generated by the soil. For a square base section, there is no requirement that which reinforcement bar need to be placed at below and which is going to be the transverse reinforcement bar. However, for a rectangular section foundations, the longitudinal bar will be in the longer directions. The reason is it need to resist a higher degree of moment in comparison to the shorter span. For your information, the rectangular section base of the pad footing are normally used to cater for the rotational moment acting on the foundations. This will result in some regions of the sections will have higher degree of bearing pressure. Therefore, you need to allocate longitudinal reinforcement bar to withstand the moment generated by the soil bearing pressure. And for the rectangular sections, in the shorter span, the reinforcement is designed to withstand the moment caused by the bearing pressures of the soil and also to tie the spacing of the longitudinal reinforcement bar. For the base which is square in sections, the reinforcements are normally uniformly distributed. However, for the pad footings with rectangular base, the reinforcement bar in short directions are normally closely spaced under and near the columns, which is in these regions. As the transverse moments are normally greater near the columns. And for that reason, two-thirds of the reinforcement bars will concentrate within the bandwidth of C plus 3D. The meanings of C plus 3D is demonstrated here. C represent the column dimensions at the longer directions, while D represent the effective depth of the reinforcement bar. The 3D here is actually meant for one per D from one side and another one per D for the other side. That means two thirds of the reinforcement bar should concentrate within the regions at this range. Under some circumstances, torque reinforcement is required. It is especially when there are large overturning moments and resultant lifting force of the structure. The torque reinforcement may be placed in this manner. And there will be transverse reinforcement to hold the spacing of the top reinforcement. In addition to that, you need to provide starter bars from the foundations. This is to be led with the reinforcement bar in this thumb in order to ensure the continuity of the 
pack footings with the stamps and columns. Full lapping lamp is required. So that the stress can be fully transferred from one reinforcement bar to another.